university students all over the country have struggled this year, not only with online learning, but not being able to socialize and connect like years past. Psychology graduate and mental health ambassador, Jack Ramage, gave me his thoughts on the issue. Being lied to about when they could go back to university. I think a lot of the university institutions at the start of the pandemic weren't prepared um, obviously for obvious reasons for such an influx of mental health problems within the student community. Um, but I think to be fair, a lot of them have adjusted and have put in place mental health plans. I think, to be honest, a lot of um, students and young people will. Um, given the kind of risk ratio of developing COVID as a young person, whether that's uh, ethically okay or not um, is a different issue. Um, but I mean, with I've, I've done some work uh, with Mixmag recently about looking at whether clubs will be re able to reopen safely or not. And right now, uh, with the projections of vaccinations and stuff like that, um, there is a chance that things will by late summer be able to open um, pretty safely and with no social distancing because of the vaccination program. So I think that once, once students are allowed to go out, they will. With the first step in the roadmap completed, allowing students to go back to school and college with regular testing, we now have March the 29th to wait for, where people would finally be able to meet up in larger groups or basically two households, outside for picnics and outdoor activities. However, restrictions will not be completely lifted if the cases continue to rise up and they won't be lifted at minimum until June the 21st.